Hey, Charlie here. Thought I'd give you a look inside the trailer now. I've got most of it done. There's still a few things I've got. Uh, right now I don't have the toolbox, mat box, or creek box inside. Give you a little preview of it. But uh, this is basically it. Let me get a little closer here and I'll show you what I got inside. Yeah, there's a four inch. We've got uh, shells mounted above. Got all my hoses up on racks. The engines up in the front, they're all mounted and bungee corded down. There's the uh, two and a half. Let me take a step up inside without knocking my knees out. I got to buy some steps for this thing too, so. Okay, here's the uh, four inch. Right now it's land based. I've got to put some carpet in the uh, sluice so when I put the buckets in there it doesn't wear the uh, matting down but I'll do that Tuesday. Here's the uh, screens, pans, classifier screens and everything. I've got a 12 volt uh, drill. I've got my Dremel tool with all the attachments so that helps for repairing equipment while I'm out. There's a crack sucker little cali sluice down there and then these I've got this one here I've got extra fittings, strainers, pump seals, assortment of fittings the other one over here has got uh, cleanup equipment in it and everything right there's my spiral wheel and that box back there with the uh, Puka hose on top of it is my gold cube. I've got a bucket bungee corded down with 60 pounds of weights for uh, diving. I've got a 15 watt generator and I've got all those secured to the floor with bungee cords. There's the compressor for diving. And there is the big pump, 93 PSI. P135. Uh, in the bag there is all my snorkeling, or not snorkeling, but uh, wetsuits, boots, gloves, everything else. Hoses. Uh, and that bucket there is my regulator, all the hookah equipment. And dredge nozzles. I've got the uh, two and a half in one of the boxes up on the shelf. That's really about it. So, well, I just thought I'd give you a preview of it and hope you like it. Sure makes life a lot easier. Uh, here's a look from the side door. It's the engine that got mounted. And, oh yeah, down here is a uh, A500 gel cell battery. I've got two more of them. I usually run them those together through an inverter so I can have power at night if I need it. And I've also got a regular 12 volt battery I use to uh, power the bills pumps when I'm doing cleanup and stuff. But that's about it. Yeah, for uh, this trip I'm going on, all the camping equipment is going to go in this center aisle here, so this trailer is going to be full when we're done. And like I said, I pretty much got everything in here that I'd need any time I want to go prospect, and all i got to do is hook up and go. Still got all my son's equipment, all his pumps, all his dredges and sluices and everything. I don't know if that's going to fit back here, but still got the back end of my pickup truck free. Well, thanks for taking a look.